The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Charlie Crist arrived to chance of support. Chris began a three-day tour to highlight the $1.3 billion education cut Scott enacted in his first year. There's no way you can do that and have a bright future for Florida. It has caused many of our schools to have to cut back teacher layoffs, it's cut back on education programs, it's cut back on sports programs throughout the state. Yes, Scott cut the budget, but three-fourths of it was federal money that went away. Under Chris's first budget, education spending was at $7,128 per student. When Scott took over, it had fallen to $6,877 per child. Scott's first budget cut per student spending by $609. Chris said he would have used state surplus to avoid the cuts. Per pupil funding under our administration is higher than it is in Rick Scott's with his almost $3 billion surplus. I don't know how to paint the picture any more clearly than that. Surrogate Matt Gates was willing to give Scott all of the credit and Chris all of the blame for school cuts. He's just unable to articulate any metrics that show how the state of Florida was doing better when he was governor than when Rick Scott was governor. Thank you for coming out. Gates is also repeating Rick Scott's claim to have the largest education budget ever, but that is because additional students have come to Florida. Per student spending remains below 2008 levels. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelfin.